Hello everyone! So I'm coming at you from my condo in Florida. Some of you may remember this room as the really ugly, 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 ugly kids room um, previously in the uh, Mini Winnie <clears throat> unboxing video. I'll put a link in the description so you can see. Um, this is was the final result. You may have seen this already if there's some pictures, but this is the same room and I redid it. So, um, I am going to share with you something one of my dear friends in North Carolina has started, um, sharing the little things uh, with you in a little piece of artwork and little things that you know may not have noticed previously and I want to share it with you guys. So I loved the idea and I'd like to do the same thing. I'll also put a link to the original video in the description. And uh, so yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so here in sunny Florida, uh, there are these little lizards that run around everywhere. Like you can't even walk anywhere without seeing them scurrying about. Um, so I decided to go out and take a few pictures. Um, <clears throat> And uh, so this little guy is going to be my subject, but also um, the little thing that I kind of want to point out and show you guys is that when these guys, I guess, have their mating call or whatever, or who knows, aggression, mate, I'm guessing mating call because I have seen little females run over and such. So um, they uh, open up this little fan thingy on their neck. I don't know. This is very technical, as you can see. Um, I have no idea what I'm talking about. But um, in this photo, I zoomed really far in, um, like this was really far out, and I noticed this really cool pattern on this little neck fan thing. So I kind of wanted to capture that, and the cool thing is, is that I still have some paints left over from when I painted this lampshade in here of these colors, so I should be able to achieve that. Um, so yeah, I, I really like this. So I'm hoping to incorporate that into this photo. So we'll see how that goes. So we'll start drawing this little guy. And you don't need anything fancy. This is just sharing with you a uh, little thing. So all I, li literally all I have here to do this are those leftover paints from last time, um, some computer paper and a pen. Like I have nothing with me aside from clay. So um, I think it's great. I think it's a great little thing to share in this time. And uh, I hope to see a lot of you do the same. So here we go. Maybe I'll just prop this up so I can see what I'm doing. I'll start with uh, basically getting a line of where he's going to be, which is pretty much that pole here. Let me see if I move this in here so you can see. Yeah, this um, fence pole. So um, not looking for perfection, just looking for just some fun and sharing. And then I kind of want to get, let's see, his leg is probably here. basic shape of him. I see. So this kind of goes up the pole because then his belly is like under there. So just getting the basic shape of where he's going to be. And I like um, my drawing teacher in college always had us find the lines first of the subject. So you, he's very um, straight angled. You can kind of see the line in there. You just get the motion of it first before you start drawing it out. So it gives you a good base to work off of. So that's what I'm doing here. It's not necessarily any lines that are in here. It's uh, basically like the center of him almost just to get his position. And he has got a little bump here where it ends and his tail kind of does angle down a little bit like that. And now we go in with a little more detail and shape. So his head is a little roundy thingy thing. He's got a little eyeball over here. Now this is not going to be any sort of masterpiece, but it's just for fun and sharing with you guys. Making do with what I got. I gotta see. Oh, oh, oh. Can't see. How do I zoom in? Why is it not? There we go. I see his leg. His other leg is like up. Let's see his ear is like here. And then from his ear, this is another thing, trick that I like, uh, the angle from his ear to the elbow, you kind of try to make the same angle and same distance in ratio there. So that's probably where his elbow is about. And then his arm shape is kind of like so, and it's like hidden behind there. It's really hard for some reason, like the 
photo didn't transfer very well or it's just not very clear. So here's his elbow here, and his arm, and that is the top of the thingy thing. There. He's got some really cool wrinkles right behind his head there. I really like those. He's just observing and such, and then we'll put his body up in here and where his See, his legs are a little too close. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, his knee. Here's the elbow. Elbow to knee. Elbow to knee. Oh, I need to move over here. Just getting some basic shapes in there. Oh, cool. He's got a little, little claw that comes back like that. See, it's like you don't really notice these things unless you really start looking close and trying to replicate this sort of stuff, which is really why I like this exercise. And I hope many of you partake as well. And his leg kind of goes back like so. There's a little bump over where the back of his leg is there. And then we kind of go a little bit like straight back. There's a little hump there where it turns downward. But see now, like, because I got that shape first, I'm able to zoom in and see these things closer because I already have the guide of where everything goes. Um, so that's another bonus. Um, and then it kind of flings upward just a little bit. It's really thin over here. And here's the top of that pole. And his back end comes just a little bit over that and then touches. So this is kind of thick, a little too thick, I drew it, but oh well. A well, like I said. There we go. Yeah, no, I totally messed that up. Totally messed that up. His tail is probably longer than I have on the page here. Oh well. Um, he's also got some really cool patterning in here. I want to capture. Am I still on camera? Yes, I'm still on camera. Um, and then the back of the tail is like darker. Yeah, he's got some really cool stuff going on in here. And then he's got like spots, but they're like lighter spots. So I'll do darker in between here, darker up here. He's got all. Just messing around basically, and now we make his little eyeball kind of evil looking. I don't think he really liked me taking his photo. And they're kind of hard to get pictures of because as soon as you get close, they kind of like scatter off. So, it took me a while to get these. I thought I was just going to go out and like grab some photos, and it wasn't quite that easy. Okay, so now we're up to the part where I kind of want to incorporate. I can't even see where this guy's mouth is. Looks like it's here. I kind of want to incorporate that throat thingy. Throat, that was the word I was looking for before. Kind of dark right here where the throat thing comes. Okay, so let's go to the other photo. If I can figure that out, here we go. To kind of get the shape of it, where it kind of comes off is here. Kind of goes down like that. Okay, I kind of want to add a little more of this because it's kind of like, what the heck is he on? So let's just add this in here. There's his finger and the line comes about there. Yeah, let's just draw the whole thing in there. Kind of gives him, you know, a perspective of where he is hanging out. I like it. I like it a lot. That'll do. That'll do. I got a little thing here. This kind of goes back, actually. There. All right. So he's on the thingy thing, thing, thing. Don't need that much detail. Now let me go grab my paints 
and we're gonna try and uh, incorporate that cool pattern and color in there, see what we get. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna start with the yellow and kind of get a good base in there. And oh, clearly I put too much paint. This is what happens. I'm definitely not gonna need this much. Um, all right, so, and it kind of stays yellow at the top and then we want darker red down here. Oh, this is gonna be a little difficult. And this has got a long yellow there. Short yellow here, and it kind of ends in the yellow here. I grab some more yellow because it's kind of orangish as it transitions. And this is kind of very strong red. And I don't have any paper towels, so we're gonna have to kind of do this the best we can. Flick this either because I'm in the bedroom here. All right, uh, all right, a little more red. And kind of start putting those stripes in that there, that you can see. All right, this is too wet. Mm. I'm gonna have to go find like a piece of paper to blot this. Hang on. All right, got some toilet paper. Ooh, toilet paper, I know. Sacrifices we make for art. Oh, that just took that right off. Clearly that was way too watery. Let's add some yellow back in here to get that orangey color. Dude, I'm gonna this off. Kinda want the strong yellow again. But don't want it. there we go. Oops. really want to get this one. There it is. There it is. Sorry, I'm just kind of rambling on right now. But this is coming out cool so far. Okay, now let's put that dark red back in. Cool how it just transitions back to the clear, like not clear, but like the lighter body color, which is hard to do here with the pen. So we'll do the best we can. All right, so we got our sort of pattern going here. I've got to get those dots in there, but we've got too much yellow, but I don't want to get rid of all the yellow. There, I think that's pretty good. Now we just need to come in with a little more yellow here. Okay, now I'm gonna put in the dots. Um, I'm going to, I mean the dots seem that they are yellow, but because we have a lot of paint down here, it's gonna start getting a little mumbo jumboed. I'm gonna start put them in with white first and kind of like put the paper back in, if that makes sense. So and then go back over it with a wash. So let's see if this works. I'm trying to figure out the pattern. It's almost like a seashell, not seashell, like a scaling type pattern on top of everything. It's like weird. Do, do, do. Very weird, very weird, because it changes direction. You may not notice that if you're not looking close at it. That's pretty neat. Pretty neat, it's the little things. So there's my pattern. 
Thankfully, I should probably wait till this dries before going over it with yellow again. And now we're gonna make this yellow, but because we put the white first, it, you make a mess. That's it. Um, should stand out more. It should pop and also make a mess. But that's okay. We are just sharing little things. It doesn't have to be perfect. Eh, I say it's good enough. Good enough. Anyway, so there you have it. There's my little lizard, my little Florida lizard um, with his fun little neck pouch thing, neck fan, if you will. So that was a lot of fun. Um, so thank you, Leslie, for the awesome exercise. Um, and yeah, so thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share all that good stuff. And, uh, please tag me if you do this exercise as well. Um, so yeah, I will again put the original video in the link description along with um, Leslie's studio um, information. And yeah, so uh, thanks for watching. Bye!